I'm Michael, I'm Wendy's little brother. Proud to be representing the male faction of Wendy's Army of Bridesmaids. <laughs> you might also be thinking, how did you get so lucky to hear me give a speech? Well, I won the competition for Bridesmaid because, first, I was obviously most qualified. And second, Wendy has just way too many bridesmaids who are her best friends. So, I've known Wendy for literally as long as I can remember. And, to be honest, she has a way of making life hard for me. First of all, she was the perfect, independent, self-sufficient child of which none of those were my thing. <laughs> the biggest thing Dad got mad at her for was losing her phone or camera. She lost her passport once. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> but if you look at my dad, I think <laughs> his permanent wrinkles from frowning is because of me. <laughs> Second of all, Wendy and I are eight years apart, so she's almost like a second mom to me. You might think that she would be a cooler, chill, fun adult supervisor. Maybe even, su maybe even supply alcohol every once in a while. You thought wrong. In the eighth grade, Wendy made me cry because I got a B plus in geometry. Not sure if I remember correctly, but my mom had to hold her back before she could strike me. <laughs> it's tough, but in the end, I learned that this is just her sick way of saying, I love you too, little brother. <laughs> although, <laughs> although she shows it differently than most sisters, I know Wendy truly does everything she can for me, and I can never appreciate that enough. Ever since I was little, in my eyes, Wendy has always been always been the standard, the role model, the, if I work hard enough, I can be as good as Wendy. And everything she did, I wanted to do. However she did things, I knew was the best way and the right way. She's always been this all-knowing figure in my life who I can always come to for the best advice and mentorship, and there's nothing that will change that. She's really paved the way for me and inspires me to think, if Wendy can do it, so can I. Wendy has just accomplished so much, and obviously she's so ambitious and driven, and a lot of times it makes you wonder, do we really have the same genes? <laughs> I'm the kind of guy who just goes with the, really goes with the flow, but she's taught me how to have the mindset of this, of I want this, and I'm not gonna let anything stop me. I know Robbie thinks that he worked his magic, but in reality, Wendy has been scheming to trap him into this marriage thing for years. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is that she's beyond doubt the bestest in the world and I welcome anyone to, to, say, to try and say otherwise. Wendy, no words can capture how much you mean to me and how grateful and truly, truly lucky I am to have you as my sister. But I guess I should really be thanking you for asking mom and dad for a baby brother because without that, I guess it'd be hard for me to be giving a speech right now. <laughs> now when Wendy started dating Robbie, it was really weird the way she talked about him. <laughs> she would always say things like, oh my God, he makes me so happy. He's so cute. I think he really cares about me. It made me sick. <laughs> but thinking back on it, this was special because I don't remember her ever talking about anyone like that. And as a budding young professional, I'm no relationship expert, but I think some would say this was a sign of what was to come. When I first heard Wendy start dating someone, as any good brother would, I felt a little protective of her. I remember one of the first times I met Robbie, I gave him one of these. <laughs> I knew he was a little intimidated, and as a result, he always treated you right. <laughs> I don't think that actually happened, but I, I imagine. <laughs> But actually, it was exciting when Wendy brought Robbie home for the holidays because it's fun to have another guy around and have someone who I can destroy in 1v1 basketball. <laughs> I know you remember on the last cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Robbie, you should be proud of yourself because the day you proposed to Wendy, I know you made her wildest dreams come true. And you also crushed 90% of my friends' dreams. <laughs> 
I don't. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, Wendy, but you've earned yourself the title of Mike Wen's hot sister among the Penn swim team. Honestly, I hate it so much, but it's so out of control. There was even a party where someone started chanting, Mike Wen's hot sister, Mike Wen's hot sister. So let's give it up to Robbie. Congratulations on locking that down. I did not want any of my friends near Wendy. Almost done. In all honesty, I'm so excited to have you as part of the family, Robbie. You make Wendy the happiest person in the world, and that's a tall task. Given the perfectionist she is, I'm glad Wendy was able to find someone who could live up to her expectations and also handle her demanding and ordering. I still remember the moment on the last cruise when you said to me, the best love is the kind that wakens the soul and makes us reach for more, that plants a fire in our hearts and brings peace to our minds. And that's what Wendy has given me. That's why I hope to give Wendy forever. That's when I knew you were meant for Wendy. Okay, you might have never said that, but I could read you like a book. Wow. I've always wanted a brother family that I could look, to, look up to, and I don't think I could have asked for anyone better. You've already taught me and helped me so much. I'll never forget the day that you lost $200 in less than four minutes at the blackjack table. <laughs> That day I learned, feeling it isn't a thing. <laughs> All right. I love both of you guys so much. And I can't imagine a more perfect couple. Really, what happened today touched me in ways I really wish I hadn't been touched. But <laughs> finally, everyone, could you please raise your glasses and join me in toast for the bride and groom? One more hand for Michael Wen.